Okay, we just got back from an epic adventure. We had a great day. So stay tuned, because you're not going to want to miss this one. And I just want to tell you right now, I wanted to say my next video will be a giveaway video. So you're not going to want to miss that, because the first ones to see it will have a better chance at winning the prize. I've got some nice prizes to pick from. So I'll put that on, we'll say, Thursday evening between 8 and 9 p.m. So be watching for that because you're not going to want to miss it. And I tell you this again because the ones that see it first are going to have the best chance of winning the prize. So hope you like this one. Stay tuned. Sit back and enjoy. Hit that subscribe button. I think it's like right down here. And hit the little bell icon. It'll update you when I, when I put out a new video. So Thanks for watching. Enjoy the video. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's a nice day. It's supposed to be nice all day. And the water is actually, there's a couple of deer running over through there. And the water is actually down below 15 feet. So I think we're going to go do some surface hunting today. It's hard to tell what we'll get into. So let's not waste any time. Let's get down to the river. And we'll just and we'll get down there the fastest way possible. Now let's go. Let's get down there. Ooh, we made it. All right. So uh, I can't decide whether I want to go down south or go up north. North is shorter and there's more places to hunt but south has produced better stuff i think we might just go north we might just go north first we'll go over here and uh check out camp buckeye right over here and then we'll head up on up uh there's a few other places i want to check you never know i mean I, I did find some nice stuff up here but more south but days are short we'll save that for another day so let's get started we'll get the uh boat ready and we'll head on up there i'll get back with you here pretty soon wow there is like extra rubbish washed in here after these floods this tree right here was sticking 25 30 meters out in the river it's broken off now either that or it's down under right there is where i found that smoke in madison point last year just laying out in the sand Right by that wrestling mat. I can't believe that thing's still here. Yeah, I wouldn't even try to get out of the boat right here. This this beach is like too flat. And I can tell right now there's about four inches of mud on there. Let's go right up here to Camp Buckeye. Here we are, Camp Buckeye. What'd I tell you? Camp Buckeye. We're gonna check this little area right here. I've seen some nice old bottles come out of here and a lot of flint. No points yet. But you never know. Let me get this boat in here. See if we can get up through this mud. Yeah, there's a there's a nice fire pit comes out here. And I talked to a guy here last year because I saw an old medicine bottle laying here, and he said uh, that uh, he found some old milk bottles that come out of here. There is glass, but look down here. So here's a piece of old stoneware piece of an old stoneware crock right here there's a handle sticking up like a cup handle Ugh, and it has got some resistance yeah I don't know nah, that feels plastic let's look around here a little more if I don't find anything here we'll head on up the beach well there's definitely was an old homestead here or something look at here old plate that's old very old plate more crock shards oh and another mason jar cap for the collection we didn't strike out a camp buckeye <laughs> at least Ooh, what's that what do you make of that handle off of something a little lever handle from something. Anybody know what that is? I don't know. No writing on it. I'm not going to take that. 
still looking. You can see these fire pits coming out of here. Fire pits and glassware and old bricks. That's a good sign. If this place doesn't produce anything today, I'm, a, I'm sure it eventually will. I just had to turn the camera back on for a second. Jimmy Yosti, looky here. It's a brick, and you know what it says on top? W. W. That's an inside joke. Tell you about it later sometime. But I know he'll be watching. <laughs> Okay, I see something caught in the roots. I don't know. I thought it was plastic at first till I got down a little closer. I haven't picked it up yet. What is that? I check all these hard stones, especially ones that look like that, you know. But look right here. Get that. Looky there. Oh, it looks like it's just a shard. Let's grab it. Oh, it's Flint Ridge busted piece now we got even higher hopes for camp buck out here oh man got a base hard telling what that was can anybody tell by the base what type of point that was really hard to tell maybe it starts in maybe like a pentagonal point Maybe a Jack's Reef. I don't know. It's hard to tell when you only got half a point. Doesn't feel ground on the base. But hey, we're on the board with it broke. Things are looking good, and this is just the first stop. We got all day. There's a little something. What's that? All kind of old metal stuff here, but this looks like. Oh. Copper green and it's like copper plated got some designs on there i'm gonna take that and clean it up looks like a handle for something well anybody know what that would be like a little handle from something got some design on it we'll take it home and clean it up see if we can identify that if not it's still all there pretty cool okay we're gonna head up to the next stop and uh I'll get back with you when we get up there. Okay, I'm on a different beach now. Just, work, just found this uh, piece of worked hematite. It's got a facet here, and you can still see the scratch marks on it. It's a busted up. It's broken up here, laying on the beach. It's kind of rocky here, but I'm finding a lot of flint. You can see all this flint that I'm finding. Oh, this piece is worked here. Not sure what it was. A couple of work pieces, maybe preforms. This beach looks pretty good right here. It's all cleared off. All the beavers have all the brush chewed off. You see, they nubbed it clear down to the ground. This beach, this is the clearest I've ever seen this beach. But we're still looking. Got high hopes. Oh, you can see this mud. Look at that. Sink, and you can't get close to the water. You sink. This, this here is the kind of stuff you want to look. Do you see these high banks? That's probably, I'm going to say at least 15, 20 feet high. It's where most of the stuff can get eroded out. Over on the West Virginia side, you can see that. It's just hillside and highway. You don't find anything over there. It's mud and stones that they blasted out from the highway and the railroad tracks back in the day. I'll get back with you if I find anything else. Check out this hard stone. I guess it's a hammer stone. It's got pecking right here. It's all beat up on that end. Looks to be a little start of a nutting hole there. They've pecked in the middle. Same on the other side. And this thing is just polished smooth. It's like granite. It's a granite stone. I mean, it's polished like glass. I would say that was a pecking grinding stone. You know, for shaping tools, stone tools. Not bad there. Very smooth. Here's an oldie. Look at this. 
Man, now that looks like from the 70s. I don't know what the date is on that. I don't know if they have dates on these, do they? Cans? If there is, it's all worn off, maybe. Rip-off tab, who remembers that? Man, I remember them old rip-off tabs. You find them all the time when you're metal detecting. That's a cool can, though. It's whole. It's full of mud. Some flint right there. Still looking. There's all kinds of stuff washed out. Check this out. It's a little kid's life jacket. Still on the hanger. That's cool. Oh, it's got rips in the back. Probably from this brush. Nah, I would have took it if it wasn't ripped. Eh, we'll leave it here for somebody else. Okay, we're on to the next beach. Okay, I see a piece of flint here. Right here, nice piece of flint ridge. Look at that, pink and white. A lot of flint ridge comes out of this area right here picked up a few smaller pieces there a minute ago I didn't show this this stuff is usually made by later cultures not really like paleo I don't think they use this stuff I was reading about it it comes from uh, subsurface mining they had to go underground to get this it was probably buried and it comes out of the ground usually a white or cream color and when they heat treat this it shows all of its red and blue and gray it's just really nice stuff but without heat treating it's near impossible to work with very nice flint very smooth like glass but i got something right up here just wanted to show you that talk too much <laughs> right here we got us a point right here if you can see that doesn't look like the greatest point, but it might. Oh, it's got a. Looks like the tip's dinged off of it. That ain't bad. We'll take it. That ear's still there. It's just worked down. It's not broken. Looks like they got the base off a little bit to one side. That's just a river, river cobble chert right there. That's two. That's two and some other stuff. We're finding all kinds of stuff today. I'll be on this beach for a little bit looking around. A uh, leaf. I'll get back if I find something else. Looky here, caught in the brush. Fishing lure. Hooks are rusted off, but you can put new hooks on it. Still nice. We'll keep that. Thought that was a huge piece of flint, was this glass. Right here on this really high cut bank. But it doesn't have much beach, but I found, I've never found a point here, but I found tools. But here's a, here's a nutting stone. It's not a very good example. Just a small hole right there in it. I'm not gonna take it. I'll leave it for somebody else if they want it. I'm still at it. Okay, I have never found anything on this beach except a couple preforms, flint, and some stone tools like nutting stones, and I found a nice grinding stone. But I think I've just got the greatest, my greatest archaeological discovery ever. I had, I, there's not much, as you can see, there's not much sand on this beach. So I, I got the bucket and I started rinsing. I went from there over here and I got something nice. It's hematite, I can tell it's hematite. And it looks like a plummet. I'm not sure, but it looks like a plummet. I can see, I don't know, it's sticking out right here. I can see two little notches on the top. I'm like a plummet is ground around, but it doesn't go all the way around. I must pull it out of here. Oh, it's not a plummet. It's not round. It's flat. Oh, 
Oh, what is that? It's definitely hematite rubbed. Oh man, it's super flat. Is that a net sinker? Look how flat that is. I can still see the rub marks in it. That thing is perfect. If that's a sinker. Oh, oh, oh! I see a notch right there. I hope you can see that. Let me wipe it off. Oh, dry it off. There's a notch. I think that's a what they call a tally mark. Oh my God. Oh, that's amazing piece. In the bottom, it's it's only has one little bad nick out of it back here in the back. One little place. It's all there. I can't see where it's broken at all. Maybe a pendant of some sort. That definitely looks like a tally mark. That's been ground in there. Definitely looks like it's ground in there. That's not a chip. It's polished in there. Oh, that's an amazing piece. I don't know what the tally marks were for. Maybe animal kills, maybe. But only one. Maybe this was a young brave. I bet his old man took him out. He got his first kill. The first tally mark, and he's lost that thing. That's got to be my best find ever. Oh, it's kind of shaky. It's a little bit thicker on this side, but I don't care. That is amazing. That's the best hematite piece I've ever found. It's even better than that cubed off big piece I got at home. Oh yeah, I'm staying right here for a little while. I'm gonna rinse some more of this beach. Oh man, I gotta put this somewhere safe. I'll get back with you. I can't quit looking at this thing. Can you see the scratch marks on that? I hope you can see that. Man. There's no gravel here, I think, what saved it pieces I find that are in gravel, a lot of gravel, are usually broken up, busted, but this thing's worn. Some of these things, yeah, you can see it worn clear down to the metal in places. There's a lot of iron in that, I bet. It was right there. Just the tire. Right by this tire. It might have laid up there and then worked its way around. see the red in that little divot man nice tire saved me maybe that top if that tire wasn't there this thing might have been washed away right there you can see the scratch marks on it pretty well I know you probably can't on this camera what an amazing piece oh man I'm glad I went north instead of south I gotta put this in, in my pack. I'll get back with you. I got something else here. Pulled off on this beach because I've seen all the stone over here. Oh man, this is muddy. Look at this. My boat's gonna be filthy. But this looks like flint here. I haven't touched it yet. It's definitely a work piece. Oh, the top's broken off, whatever it was. Get this mud off. I don't think anything's gonna top that last find, though. It's Kashok and Flint. It's the bottom half of a blade, I think. There's no grinding on the bottom. I'd say it was a little knife blade. Dang, broken off. Oh well, I'm gonna look through this stone stuff here. There's a heck of a campfire pit coming out right here. Okay, not more than a minute after I just found that broken blade. There's a flint piece right here. 
Oh man, it's it's broken. It's a blade, but it's broken. It's shattered. You can see it's all worked in the bottom right there. Man, that is some nice material. Nice flint ridge material. Beautiful flint. Get that dirt out. Probably a little round knife. Well, it's got like a white lightning streak up through the center there. And it cracked. Right, I don't know if you can see that. There's like a, maybe a fault. A fault or something. It ran right up through there. And right there is where it cracked off. And that would have been a beautiful blade. And what is there is just, oh, the craftsmanship is just perfect. Darn. Man, there's a fire pit and a half coming out of here. This might be the best beach I've seen in a while. Okay, I'm going to look over through here and dig through these stones. Move this barge rope. You never know what's under that. Okay, I just, I just wanted to show you this. Right there is where I just found that flint ridge blade piece right there. There is a one heck of a fire pit coming out of here. Right up under this root. Oh, it's muddy. It's slick. You can see... Look at this stuff. All this dirt is all red and fired. There's charcoal. There's ancient charcoals in here. Oh, man. Look at that. Man, I wish this place wasn't so muddy. I'm going to look around just a little more here, and then I'm going to head on up the beach. <laughs> okay, the very next beach I get out, there's stuff everywhere after these floods. Right here. There's another piece of something. It's broken, but it's a... It looks like it probably was a triangle. It's shattered over here on this side, but it's worked all the way up around. It's a little bit of serrated there around this side. And right there is the concave base of it. And then it's shattered on that corner. Made on a flake, unifaced on the back pretty much. A little work on this side. But that wasn't bad, that wasn't bad around on this beach it's like after these floods there's stuff everywhere piece of old pottery that's really old I'll get back if I find anything else you ain't gonna believe this right there's where I just found that broken triangle I walked across here I looked the bank high searched through all those stones walked the bank high and then I'll walk the bank low here near the water going back look here where's it at oh no i hope i didn't lose it i know it's right here so there it is laying flat out flat out now it's not the best material but it's all there definitely all there i'm gonna get a picture of this i'll be right back okay i'm back let's grab it yeah it's not very good material it's kind of rough no flint that I'm familiar with. Probably just a local chert. It has just barely, barely a little tiny tip right there. Nick out of, right there on the edge near the tip. Might have been a fault in the flint. Looks like a, like a table rock probably. That's what I'm calling it, the table rock. Man, we're having a great day. I'll get back if I find anything else. I just wanted to show you this. When I say local river cobble chirts, this is what I'm talking about. These flints right here. This has been the, this is probably black or gray inside this big one. And these uh, caramel colored ones are, sometimes they're caramel colored inside, but sometimes they're, usually they're gray inside also under this cortex. I just wanted to show you that. And usually find them where there's a lot of stone like this. There's fire pits coming out everywhere here. There's campfire stone right there. They're everywhere. There's one. Oh, look at that. 
there's a little nutting stone. I'll take that. That's pretty cool. Live find. I know it's just a nutting stone, but hey, live find is a live find. We're having a good day. I mean, it counts to be the first one out here after the high waters go down. And we've had a lot of high waters for a long time. It's supposed to start raining pretty soon too, so I think tomorrow, maybe tonight. So I'm sure this is gonna go back up, but we'll be back out. I'm just wondering what was down south. I'm kind of I'm kind of glad I didn't go down south that way now, but you never know. Might have found better stuff down there, but I don't think we're gonna top, top that pendant. There's no way. Never know though, never know. Might pull an Indian out of the hillside. Okay, I shouldn't have turned that off, but I just picked this up right after that. I don't know, let me wipe this off. I don't think this might not be anything, but. It's got work around the edge. That's something. Cause it's got a fire pop divot right there. I don't know if you can see that right there. Fire pop divot. I don't know. See, that's one of those items where you, you just don't know, but it looks like it's notched out right here. Give me opinions on that one. If anybody knows, if anybody thinks that's something, I'll keep it anyway. I'll take opinions on that one. I'll get back if I find something else. You ain't gonna believe this. It's broke, I can tell it's broke, unless it's a triangle. Right there's the boat. I walked down there high, came back low, went across this tree here and looked around. I'm getting ready to paddle up around that next tree because I'm not climbing over that big thing. I'm getting ready to get back in the boat. I might throw some buckets right here because there's a lot of flint. And with finding three things, two or three things right here, look at this, right by the boat. The boat's there. I never even saw this one. Yeah, it's snapped off. Oh man, but the, why do all these great points with the great craftsmanship always snap? Dang. Damn, that's another one. That's another one. I'm gonna rinse a little bit right here. If I find anything, I'll get back with you. And we're having a great day. Great day. Okay, I'm on the other side of that log now. Just I was just over there maybe. 20 yards, went around this log, come over here. Here's some flint here. Right there's a piece, right there's a piece. But look at this. I don't know if you can see that's right in the shadow. But it looks like the bottom half of a triangle. Let me pick it up here. Please don't, oh man, it's busted. It's a Madison triangle, but it's broken on the top. Oh, I thought we was gonna get another one. Well, honey, we did get another broken one. Tips broken off. A little past halfway up. Man, these beaches are loaded now. I'll get back with you. I'll find something else. Man, I hope we don't run out of daylight. We're going to, and I still got more ways to go up through there. Alright, let's move it along. Okay, we crossed over these trees here. We're probably 50 yards from the boat, and I got something else sticking out right here. And it looks serrated. I can't tell, it looks like the tip of something. You can see that right there. Let's pick it up. Oh man, it's broken. Let me wash it off, get down in this mud. Oh man, whoa. What is that? Oh. It's the tip off something very heavily serrated. I have no idea what that would have been, but it's long and slender. Dang. Okay, keep on going, keep on going. I'll take brokes all day long, because I know there'll be some other stuff. You find them brokes, you're gonna find something. There's a lot of old homesteads in here. You can tell, I'm keeping all this. 
old glass shards, decorative glass shards, plates and junk. And right here's a spoon. But I know it's silver plate because the silver you can see is peeling off of it. See that's flaking off? It's not solid silver. That's not that's pretty cool though. Wish it wasn't flaking off. There's a piece of silver flaking off the back. We'll put it right in there. I'm not taking that. I just found this bottle. It was laying right here. You can see where it was laying. It's a crown top, but it says wheeling on it. Let me wash it off. Oh, it's old. Oh, yeah. It's old. This might be pre-prohibition. Oh, it's packed full of mud. It weighs about two pounds. Raymond Brewing Company, Wheeling, West Virginia. Wheeling WVA. It says 214B on the bottom. You can see the seams go clear up to about right there. And then they terminate. Oh, nice find. There's an old homestead here. You can see this brick. See this brick right here? That's old. That's an old house brick, very old one. Old clay brick. Oh, that's a nice find. Nice find and not broken. Probably just washed out. That would have broken sooner or later. We'll have to get that mud out of it. Really nice. We're having a good treasure hunting day today. Oh, that's great. Not a chip out of it. I'll have to look the age up on this, but I know it's old. It's thick. Very nice. Raymond Brewing Company. Okay, I was just right over there on the other side of this little brush pile here. This is where I found that uh, beer bottle. So I went around, pulled in here, and look here. I don't know if this is another one or what. But there's a bottle sticking out right there. Let's pull it. Please don't be broken. Oh, it's all there. Oh, it's another old one, I think. Oh, it's different. It's different. Oh, it's another old bottle. Nice. Very nice. What does it say? It says... RB Company Select RB Company Select same with the seams they go up and terminate about right there oh amazing there had to have been an old homestead right here because last year I was finding all kinds of like crock shards and everything just right in here Another great bottle. Let me get a picture of this and clean up mud out of it. Amazing day. Here's a heartbreaker. Look at this sticking in the mud. An old inkwell. It's been in the sun too. It's purple. Oh man, what a heartbreaker. What's it say on the bottom? Is that a Carter's? I can't read it. Yeah, I can't even read it. What a heartbreaker on that. Darn. Let me put it back there. Oh, well. Look at this. This is fresh. He might be right around here. Hopefully we can catch him on video. Look at this. Something has just chewed that. Water leaking out of it. He's chewed all this too, beaver. We might catch him up here. Get one on film close enough.
Look at this old house up here. And right in there is where I found the beer bottles. The old bottles. There's a lot of crock shards and glassware in there. And you can just tell by the style of that house how old it is. It's got that, you know, that colonial style. Square shape. Chimneys on both ends. It's hard to tell how many people have lived in that over the years. There's a lot of stuff in there. Probably an old dump they threw over the hill. This junk is just getting washed out. Well, we're packing it in, we're heading out. It's getting late. I'm gonna head back to the truck and head home. So I wanna say thanks for everybody for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.